Okay, love dogs, today is the best day ever. It is a national holiday, a day a queen was born. It is September 18th, my birthday, and today is a milestone year. I'm turning 35. Thought I was gonna turn up, but in true Virgo fashion, I'm a hermit. I just wanna be inside, and I'm gonna be super cozy today with the kids, and I'm gonna be wearing this beauty here, courtesy of Beauty Forever. If you wanna see how we got the install, keep on watching. So for starters, this is a look at the wig straight out of the box. As you guys can see, there's going to be minimal work needed today. This one here is a pre-plugged, pre-bleached, and it also comes with pre-styled baby hair lace wig. She's a beautiful reddish brown, 33B auburn color. The texture is jerry curly, and you guys know I'm going to slay her to the gods. Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap. I love a good breathable cap for a little bit of extra insulation so those braids don't sweat. She also comes with the adjustable elastic band so let's go ahead and put her on and get started so my favorite features are the pre-cut lace as well as the fact that the baby hair is already ready to go but you guys already know we gotta go ahead and finesse and slay this one to perfection we're not gonna just leave it like so here's a look at the back as i mentioned this is a jerry curly lace wig texture i love the fullness on this one she's 180 percent density and also if i did not mention she is a seven by five lace front wig so let's go ahead and pull the baby hair and the hairline back and get to work. Because the hairline is exposed, I did go ahead and use my edge control from bdeckbeauty.com to go ahead and snatch those back. When your baby hair and your edges are frizzy, it's very easy to get them caught in your lace and just simply not have a clean hairline. And we definitely want to go for super clean today. Once I did that, I went ahead and just added my non-glue adhesive, which is just an extra hold hairspray of choice. I went ahead and put a melt belt on top, and I'm just going to let that work on its own. This is going to bond the hairline down, and it's going to melt it super good. We're going to wear it glueless, but first we have to kind of like apply it and allow it to mold to the hairline for it to like sit perfectly and flawlessly. Hopefully that makes sense. Next step is just a little H2O. I highly recommend you wash and condition before installing your wig. For me today this is a straight out of the box install so i did just go ahead and use a water bottle this one is for my site as well and i just saturated the hair a little bit i didn't want super damp hair and this is kind of look what it looks like when you kind of comb the curls out it still maintains the curly texture but of course it does get a little bit bigger and a lot more poofy Today we're going to use an oldie but goodie. This is a fresh jar or bottle of the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Conditioner. This one is a deeper conditioner and it was a holy grail staple. It literally had us in a chokehold, what about five? Maybe, maybe like five or six years ago. I kind of forgot about this one, but when I was browsing through Target the other day, I seen it and instantly knew I needed it. It's super affordable. It's under $10. It may be even under five, maybe in the six to seven dollar range, maybe even cheaper. I can't remember, but I'll have it in the description box. I applied a generous amount, but I really wanted to keep the natural texture. So I kind of finger comb and applied it through. And then I went ahead and did these like loose, messy Shirley Temple curls at the end. These are super gorgeous when your hair is dry and then i'm going to do the exact same process on the opposite side being sure to saturate the hair very nicely with my product again this is a deep condition and it is meant for like a rinse out conditioner but you guys know if you are a fan of youtube or if you're no stranger you know we've been using the leave-in conditioners forever in our hair and it just gives such a great amount of moisture I added the same Shirley Temper Curls to the end on the opposite side. Now, in theory, I will go ahead and do the Dynamic Duo at this point. But you guys seen I've been working rigorously, super hard to kind of stop that process. I want to be able to do like wet and curly styles without using any heat. And I think I did a great job today. I for sure was missing it, but I did a great job. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on the baby hair. As I mentioned, this was pre-cut, pre-styled. The knots were bleached and everything was ready to go. But I am going to go ahead and just comb them out and swoop them to my liking and just kind of mold them myself. I did go in at the base with the edge control from bdeckbeauty.com and then I took a baby hair brush and just combed them out. They are a little bit stiff because it's like they went ahead and molded them for you guys. And so after I went ahead and just reapplied them to my liking, they were even more perfect. Now today we're going with the Maybelline products for our lace tint. We're using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, which is ever so popular and also a staple as well as a holy grail oldie but goodie product in our, you know, in the hair and beauty world. 
And I'm going to take the corresponding foundation powder, powder from Maybelline Fit Me and apply it heavily to the front. I used 375 in the powder and I believe I used 360 or 365 as far as the liquid goes. And these did work perfect together. My local Target, I think it only goes up to like 360 or 365. So I did have to get the deeper shade online. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you that this one is still glueless. It was melted so well that it took a little minute for me to go ahead and get it detached. But once I did, you guys seen it fits super glueless. The lace is super melted and nice and thin. The curls came out beautiful after a little bit of air drying. Here also is the packaging from Beauty Forever. They did include some language in the box. They also included this dust bag as well as some more goodies. Here is the HD wig caps they included. Again, I can't wait till those come into a darker brown. They also included this True Scalp Tape, a melt belt which has their logo and their like theme color which is so nice. They included the dust bag which also is something that you should keep forever. It matches the melt belt. Super cute. And of course they gave us this mesh bag with additional goodies including an additional HD wig cap, an additional melt belt but this one is a little bit different. And then they also included these beautiful Ming 3D lashes and a travel size kabuki brush. Now this is the final look. I think she came out absolutely gorgeous. I did allow this one to air dry so we did not diffuse today and I'm loving every bit of it. The hairline is super flawless and I love the fact that this one is safe and easy for beginners to try out. If you're interested I do have a direct link in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and as always I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!